Hello and welcome to the first Crafternoon with Mandy. The craft that we're going to be making today is something that might be familiar to some of you. If you came to our wildly successful Crystal Magic program a couple of weeks ago, um, we made homegrown crystals with borax, which you can easily get in the detergent aisle at grocery stores, or maybe you have some at home already. You can also order it online. So aside from that, all that you'll need is some food coloring or some liquid water uh, watercolor. I'm going to use liquid watercolor, a glass jar, a pipe cleaner, or you could also use some string, um, a pencil or something to dangle the string from, and some boiling water. And I'll show you how we do that, okay? Just a quick recap of our supplies. We'll need borax, a bowl and a spoon for the borax, a glass jar, a pipe cleaner, which is what your crystals will grow on, a stick of some kind, pencil, tongue depressor, some string, and food coloring or liquid watercolor. You want a nice dense base for your crystal to grow on, so you'll need to wrap your pipe cleaner up nice and tight like so. So as I showed you before, you're going to um, make a little ball with your pipe cleaner. You're going to tie it to a pencil or a stick or whatever you've got with any kind of string or fishing line that you have so that it sits in your jar without touching the bottom or any of the sides like that. Pour freshly boiled water into your glass about halfway. At this point, we're going to start adding borax to the water about two scoopfuls at a time, stirring really well in between each mixture to make sure it dissolves fully. There's no set amount on how much borax to add, but you want a super saturated solution, which means that you've added so much borax that the water can't dissolve anymore, and it will gather at the bottom in a pile like this. Once your mixture is super saturated with borax, you're going to add your color, liquid water color or food coloring, as dark or as light as you want, preferably darker so it holds to the crystal and stir it up really well. Then you're going to add your pipe cleaner and set it down like so. Mm. I know it stinks big time to have to wait um, to see the fruits of your labor, but you're going to want to put your crystal in a place where it's not going to be disturbed and don't touch it or look at it for at least 24 hours. Um, what you can do is, if you see this one that I made, the crystals grew on the string too, but this is the pipe cleaner. Um, I heated up more mixture, added more borax, and then re-dipped my crystal for another 24 hours, um, and another layer of crystal grew over it. So I'm going to pull out the crystal that I started yesterday and see what we have. I'm very excited. Oh, we've got some pretty solid growth here. This one is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be with one dip. And I use green, as you can see. Okay, so I've pulled it out and dried it out off just a little bit. Um, and what you can do is you can just snip the string off. I had to break off some of the crystal that was on it because it grew on the string. But I'm just going to cut it off, and there you go. It's so pretty, right? I'm going to put this in the window of the library along with the other crafts that we're doing. Um, so if you're in town and you're walking by, you can have a look at this sparkly green crystal that we grew with just boiling water and borax. All right, that's it for another Crafternoon with Mandy. We'll see you again real soon. Bye!